up. Um, actually, no, I'm actually a half Palestinian, half white. That's the first I've ever heard. Usually they're running for the door. No, like I'm Palestinian and I'm Muslim, but like, it's like, I'm not that Muslim, it's like diet Muslim. It's like all the hair, but none of the, you know what I'm saying? Like the only time I'm praying to Allah is when I've straightened my hair and I got my extensions in and I'm outside. I'm like, yo, dear Allah, come here for a second. <laughs> How that should like, it's what else uh, I really spent a lot of time on this hair. I got the clips in, please. And seriously with the parking. All right. Talk to you around Ramadan. See you later. Um, but like, I'm not even a good Arab. Like, I can't even, I, can't, I don't, I'm not married, number one. I don't negotiate. And I had the audacity to try the falafel at Subway. Don't try that shit. The only thing authentic about that is it's got sand in it. No. No. But like, you need to get, like, I'm super Arab. Like, hey, baby, want to drive you with my kebab on the thong? Like that. Arab, and I'm super white, like crystal meth white. That's, that's like homos and hamburger, nobody does that shit. Nobody does, does it, and it's distinct, so like people are always worried about my temper, like, ooh, don't piss Mona off, she'll bust through a neighborhood and set up a Walmart. <laughs> oh, I bitch, no, I blew up the Walmart. Is there anybody in here who's mixed? What are you? Ooh, someone was hiding, someone? I was trying to get bail too. But like, I don't know, did you get the same thing I got? Like I always got, oh my God, Mona, like for my wife. Oh my God, Mona, that's so crazy. It's so exotic. So like your dad's Palestinian, your mom is white. Like, did your dad take your mom hostage? <laughs> ah, same shit, huh? I'm like, bitch, no. She got a Groupon for half off. <laughs> they had that shit in the 70s. She scrolled too fast, she bought it. She's like, fuck, I thought it said Arabian Night. It said Arabian Nightmare. <laughs> Palestinians don't have oil, people. They don't got shit. No, but like growing up with ethnic parents, like anybody here who grew up with their parents who were born here? Uh, raising their hand, like I can see. Jane, okay. Yeah, okay. No, but when you, when you have foreign parents, you get threats that make no sense, but you know they mean business. I mean, my, my dad's classic one was Mona, come here. Next time you leave your bicycle out the side, I will put it in your ear and out your nose. <laughs> where, where, Dad, where? First of all, I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Second of all, how are you gonna do that? You got a magic machine, you put it through my ear. It can be bloody, you don't got insurance, you're a cab driver, tone it down. Okay. My, the worst though in parent-teacher conferences, he'd always love to go, I'm like, please, can I just bring my white parent, please? No, he'd always have to show up. And my teacher would be like, oh, hi, Mr. Abersh. Abersh, can I just call you Muhammad? This is Muhammad, yeah, how much easier. Um, so like, Mona is like touching all the little boys. And is that like a Muslim thing? I don't know. And she's not doing very well in algebra. And my dad was like, you know, quiet, like, Jesus Christ is your Muna. We are, we are Arab, we made algebra. <laughs> Teacher, come here, come here. Do you have the number for the zoo? Okay, call the zoo, tell them not to feed the tiger. We will take Muna outside. We will chop her up and feed her to the tiger. <laughs> DCFS was at our house all the time. Before I go. They don't teach Arab girls how to date. So like, I don't know how to date. You're like, you're like born, you're married, you're done. That's it, you're like, you're off. So I started dating this guy, and I like this poor schmuck. He has to deal with me, and I, I don't know. I, when it, girls, when it comes to guys, we don't know how to communicate with them. We're like, how do we tell them, yo, there's dishes in the sink, and how do I look in these jeans without sounding like assholes? But I figured all guys, it seems like all guys, if you want to talk to them, you got to speak their language. All guys, black, white, straight, gay, whatever, they love the movie Scarface. You know this? So the other day, I was like, live it. I was like, okay, turn it down more. I'm like, hey, come here for a second, okay? <laughs> Number one, all right? How do I look in these jeans? <laughs> good, good, I'm glad you said that. Okay? Number two, the dishes in the sink are so polluted. <laughs> Get in there, man. And he got mad, and he like walked up, I'm like, hey, listen, man, I was so like kidding. 
Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> All right, my name is Juan. That's my time. Get up here.